Hey everyone, it's Ivy Joeva. Happy Friday! Oh, it's not Friday? <laughs> that kind of leads into what I'm talking about today, which is who's counting? Like, who cares where we are? Who's counting exactly where we're supposed to be at any given time? We are in a patriarchal society, at least we have been for the last many hundred years. And what that means is that our whole cosmology, our whole paradigm, our whole way of viewing the world is has, has the qualities of masculine energy, which is linear. Masculine energy is defined by goals and lines, where am I going, how do I get from point A to point B. Feminine, on the other hand is much more fluid. She's much more process-oriented, and it's about the journey, not the destination. And the reason why this is on my mind today is I was talking to a dear friend who is one of those people who's just always together. She is uh, always together herself and always the one who's kind of the solid person for everybody else to rely on. And so she always seems like she's doing great, and she's the person that will listen to your problems all day, and then when you say, hey, how are you? It'll be good, I'm good, I'm good. So it was particularly special today that she shared a vulnerable moment with me, and even though she kind of slid it in there in a pretty subtle way, most people wouldn't have noticed, and unless you know her really well, she just said, I feel lost. And what came to me immediately, was it's okay to be lost. We can live meaningful lives right here, right now. And the key to doing that is to create a relationship with yourself so that even if you are lost in the context of the world or if you feel lost and not sure which way you're going, where you're going, what's gonna happen, you can still bring yourself to the table. And then life becomes more of an adventure. I also want to use an example from birth, which is there comes this point, and this, this is a huge generalization, perhaps not every woman comes to this point. I would say most people have experienced in their birth process that there comes a point when a woman says, I can't do this. And of course I'm talking about a natural birth um, that's unmedicated. Um, there comes a point where she just says, I can't, I can't. And she feels truly lost. She feels truly at a loss and not knowing how this is going to happen. And what we always say in the birth world is, yes, you can. We whisper this, yes, you can, yes, you can. And the proof is that you're doing it. You are. You are doing it. And oftentimes, and of course there's exceptions to this, but I just want to say that Oftentimes, once a woman reaches that point, like, I can't, I can't do it, I have no strength left, it shifts in that moment. It's just about to shift, and we call that transition, the, the technical medical term for that point when the contractions are the strongest and they're just rolling on one on top of each other and they reach an incredible intensity. That's right before the woman gets ready to push the baby out. And oftentimes in a natural birth, that pushing is actually... A relief it's a release it's like then she's found then she knows what she needs to do she needs to push so even if there's very little strength left the the light is at the end of the tunnel the destination is in sight and so I use that example just to highlight the fact that oftentimes when we feel the most lost is when we are just about to come full circle and we never know what is right around that corner that's what I want to say to you guys today. Just lose yourself, get lost, enjoy the journey. And know that sometimes when we feel the most together is when we're the most lost. It's when things are about to not go according to plan. And so if you have that relationship with yourself to fall back on, no matter what's going on in your life, you'll have that. And you'll have this sense of adventure and sense of security within the unknown. So I hope you can relate to this. Let me know your thoughts. Are you lost? Where are you going? Tell me, how do you cope with being lost? And uh, 
what can help you along the way in those moments when you don't know up from down what do you do to make yourself embrace the adventure. See you next time in a new world.